Today, I'm finally taking you through the build of my canopy roof rack. Let's do this. Okay, so the main design that I had in mind for this roof rack was fairly simple. I wanted to make a rectangular shaped roof rack, viewed from above looking like this. Nothing to scale or anything, just a basic design. Um, I wanted to have round corners just for the aesthetics to make it look very nice. Uh, one support beam in the middle, in the length, this would be front, this would be rear. And then across a number of support beams from left to right. Now this is a fairly basic simple design. And the biggest headache that I was facing was how to get these round corners. So I came up with a different type of idea. Um, so let me show you quickly what I did in order to get that done. Um, I'm going to get my jig and everything that I made up and I'll show it right to you. All right, so this is a piece of old off-cut piece of pressed wood or any type of wood that I just had lying around. And I marked the round corner design here with a permanent marker. And this is a 90 degree corner, obviously, on the inside. And I put in screws either side of the lines, which would be the width of the rectangular tubing that I'm planning on using for the outer frame. So the main idea that I came up with is this is a little piece of sample that I made it's a piece of rectangular tubing um, any size that you would find appropriate would do this is one I had lying laying around this is about I guess a half inch by maybe an inch and a half maybe I'm, I'm guessing and um, maybe if I have to estimate maybe 15 millimeters by 50 millimeters or, or 40 millimeters. It's hard to say. I didn't quite measure it. I just had it laying around. So what I did for the corners is I actually cut out a part of the rectangular tubing, top and bottom and in the width like such. And I then cut from a piece of flat metal a bunch of triangular shapes with a rounded corner. And this was done with a normal uh, circle jig of any sort. Um, no, any, anything you've got that's round and just an ideal degree corner. This was a very quick simple design just to make up this small little sample here. Um, now the main idea is if you've cut the rectangular tubing a piece out of it, it's only got this one side left, the back side over there, so it's much easier to bend. And there is, that's where this jig comes in very handy. So I basically just put it in on the one end and I bent it to shape on the lines that I had here so it was a very good bend and then on the length on the other side so this would be a 90 degree corner and I would then weld the triangular pieces one at the top side here and turn it around like so and then basically just weld the other one on the other side and um, once this is done I plan to also add a small little square piece here to cover the hole from this side so it's not open. This would make the corner very sturdy because it would be supported from the inside, from the top, from the bottom and obviously by the wall of the rectangular tubing from the outside. So this is the plan that I've got for the four different corners. And um, The thing is this gets pretty bulky and big. Um, depending on the size that you want to make. So it, it's get hard to to make it and you're going to have to have a very long piece of rectangular tubing if you want to make this one gigantic piece and only join it in one space. So the idea that I had and based on the, the materials that I had laying around which were all offcuts, I decided that the length and the size that I wanted to use that I was going to have a split in the middle front and the middle rear and make this side separate, that side separate, and then join them in these two spots. That means I had to make one corner here, one corner, corner at the bottom, and then obviously where this ended, depending on how you look at it, join the two rectangular tubings in the middle. Uh, thereafter, I would use a piece of square tubing in the middle as a support beam, square tubings all the way through on top of that one for the final design. So this I did 
uh, beforehand, before making the video and everything. This was a lot of trial and error to see what would come out very good. Um, let me quickly show you a picture of the finished result once I've finished welding it. Uh, just keep in mind this was all off-cut, rusted irons laying around. Um, so this was before finishing, before painting or anything like that. I'll quickly show you a picture of that. Great, now the picture that was of the completed looking like this. Now, at the bottom, in order to mount this on top of the canopy, I simply decided to use four pieces of U-channel and mount it basically between the roof rack, roof rack on top, bottom on the canopy with screws the into the original mounting points that's mounted on the canopy and the top side would be welded to the roof rack itself. So, after that was done, uh, like you saw in the picture just now, I finally had the time to work it down and the main thing I did was I took the roof rack with the materials that you saw, I only brushed the most rust off of it with a steel brush and then I used rust applicable paint, paint that you can apply on top of rust which is very handy in a case like this because in order to take off all the rust of all the material would have been quite time consuming and this was a very budget friendly project uh, with things laying around and so I didn't want to spend too much time in that so I did that and let me show you what the finished product looks like with the roof rack completed and painted and mounted on top of the vehicle so let's go have a look So this is a finished product, let's do a little walk around just so you can get the rough idea. Um, this is after a first coat of paint, I plan to add a couple of layers more, a couple of coats more, just for the little bit of rust that's still left. As you can see this is quite a good design, as you can see the round corners came out pretty well, I'm very happy with the way they turned out. This was a very quick job, very uh, price efficient, you can see the U channels that I've used on the four corners for mounting pieces um, and this is only slightly over the of the cabs it doesn't stick over very much it's extremely you can take this and you can rock the entire vehicle just by by yanking on the roof rack so I'm very happy the, about the way this came out it looks very good let's take a step back for one moment so you can get the bigger picture it's not the best lighting conditions, but it doesn't look bad. It's, it's very streamlined, it doesn't stick out like a sore thumb, and it looks very good. Now, the only problem that I do have with this at the present moment is that it is quite high. I mean, this is my hand reach, trying to reach up there, so it is quite a bit higher. It's higher than my head. So, I reckon that the next project that we are going to be working on would be some sort of a stepping system in order to reach up there which is also portable so I take it with where I'm going you'll also step it back it does over the back and the symbol for this is the canopy's back door is somewhat different design so with the wing on top here 
when this opens you'll see the line on the top this opens vertically and stops just before the roof rack and that's the reason why this doesn't go over the back quite as much but very effective nothing hits each other everything is extremely in place it's very straight very rectangular and it goes with the vehicle very nicely everything is still very dirty we've had a lot of rain and dust and so on so couldn't clean everything beforehand but yes once again this is very satisfying to look at knowing that this beforehand was just two uh, two bars on each side or one on each side and it wasn't quite as efficient this is extremely strong i am able to stand on top of it it bears my weight with no problem whatsoever so this gives a very good platform for a lot of future projects as well that we can add but i really do first project tackle is some kind of a stepping so that I'm able to reach on top there. Otherwise, this is very, very hard. So, until next, watching more, subscribing, and you'll see the rest of the projects to follow. Have a great day.